Hey Darksiders fans, Strangelove here, and in this episode I'm going to show you how to get some extra loot that you can only get using the Soul Splitter ability. So, let's get started. The first area I'm going to walk you through is a small ruin on the east side of the fjord. You just have to make your way up a windy path and you'll find a doorway to a building that's unlabeled, and you might have already encountered this place before, but if you didn't have the Soul Splitter, you couldn't really do anything here. When you go through the door, head to the right, through a hole in the wall that should have a chest there. I've actually been here earlier in the game, so I already got the chest, but just loot whatever's there. Next, position death on the square platform that's in the middle of the room, and activate your soul splitter ability. From here, take one soul and put it on the pressure pad on the left-hand side of the room. Now, switch forms and move your second soul to the pressure pad on the opposite side of the room. This causes the main platform to rise up, and when you switch out of your soul splitter form, make sure you run off the platform quickly because it's going to drop down as soon as you do. Now that you're on the second level, you can see that there's a page from the Book of the Dead hiding behind a gate, and I'll show you how to get that in just a second. First, go around and smash the four pots on this level, revealing a secret chest. Now, run over to the pressure pad on the right hand side and activate the Soul Splitter ability. Take the first soul and run up the wall pegs on the left hand side to drop down behind the cage containing the pressure pad. Switch to your other form and grab the Book of the Dead page and with that, this area is complete. Next, I want to show you how to get the three chests underneath the bridge heading to Leviathan's Gorge. So to get there, just cross the bridge and head to the right, where you'll see a small opening with a wall hang. Use the wall hangs and wooden posts to sort of navigate your way down to the bottom of the area. When you reach the bottom, run up the rocks to the left, and you're pretty much underneath the bridge. When you climb up, you'll probably be tempted to pull out your death grip because of all of the purple pegs that are ahead of you, but you're going to want to pull out your redemption pistol first. Look over the edge and shoot the shadow bomb to destroy the corrupt crystals on the right side. Now you can pull out your death grip and swing your way over to the wooden post halfway down the bridge. Drop down to where you destroyed the corrupt crystals and grab a shadow bomb to throw it at the other corrupt crystals further down the way. This clears up your path and reveals some more death grip pegs, so go back on the wooden post and swing your way down to the next platform where you can receive your first chest. Next, move over to one of the pressure pads and use the soul splitter to put a soul on the other pressure pad. Switch to your remaining form and shoot the shadow bomb on the left to destroy the corrupt crystals across from you, revealing a second chest. Jump down to the wooden beam to cross the gap and loot the chest. Now grab a shadow bomb and toss it over to the remaining corrupt crystals and shoot it with your redemption pistol to reveal the final chest. Exit your soul splitter form to loot the chest and you're done with this area. Finally, there's just a couple more chests located in the breach that require the soul splitter ability. Enter through the north side of the breach and use the wall pig to run along the wall to some demonic growth on the corner. Keep following the growth around the corner and you'll find a series of wall mounts and wooden pegs that'll lead you up to a higher area. Here you'll find two pressure pads and a chest behind a gate. Simply use your soul splitter to activate the two pads and gain access to the chest. 
This next chest doesn't require the soul splitter, but it's located on the same floor, so just backtrack your way to where you first found the demonic growth. When you're hanging on the growth, look backward and you'll find a death grip post for you to jump to on the opposite wall. From here, just climb your way up and you'll see a chest straight ahead. And actually, this is probably the way you should have went first, so go get this chest first, activate the pressure pad, and roll forward to go get the other chest that I first showed you, if that makes sense. <laughs> Now there's one more chest in this area that you might remember from your first run through of the breach, but if you go back around the corner as if you're going to get the first chest that I showed you in this area and look over an edge, you'll see this hidden chest behind a series of gates, and you'll have to jump down to try and get it. First, activate the pressure pad that opens up the floorless corridor, and you'll have to run really quickly down the hallway to get to the other side before the gates close on you. When you get to the other end, go left and then go left again through a series of two doors. At the end of the hallway, you'll find a pressure pad that opens the gate back to where you first started. Stand on the pad and activate the soul splitter. Use one soul to go through the gate and activate the original pressure pad. Now switch forms and activate the third pressure pad. To get to the chest, just quickly somersault forward before the gate rises up, and then exit the soul splitter form to return. That just about does it for this episode, so hopefully this video helped you get some awesome loot in preparation for the Argyle's Tomb DLC, which I'm very excited for. As always, thanks so much for watching, and until next time, this is Strangelove, signing out.